Hello everyone, I'm Paul. Welcome to Die Hard RC Addicts. Um, this week we got kind of a new RC type video that we haven't done yet on this channel. It kind of um, goes over into one of the other hobbies that I have. Um, I've really been into motorcycles and especially sports bikes ever since I was younger. And I still have a um, 1998 ZX900. Uh, but I don't really drive that as much as I used to. So I decided I was going to look into getting an RC bike. And recently I found a pretty good deal on the uh, Venom GP GPV1. A uh, little sports bike. It's an eight scale sports bike and it's ready to run. And I found it on Amazon for only $129. So I decided to pick one up. So uh, let's take a closer look at it. And then after that, we'll uh, take it out to the uh, parking lot and do some test drives. Okay, guys, here's how the Venom GPV1 eight scale road race bike comes shipped. Comes with a pretty cool box. It shows the bike on the top display there. Okay, on the different sides of the box, it shows some details of the motorcycle. It all looks pretty cool. Even on the other side, I think it shows some optional parts. Looks like there's some optional upgrade parts. They have some better aluminum shocks, better aluminum rear shock, um, lipo pack, um, disc brakes for the front, and even a carbon fiber frame. Um, that's all optional parts. But um, let's take everything out of this box and uh, we'll take a closer look at what comes included. Okay, everyone, I've taken all the parts and pieces out of the box and laid them out here on the table. This gives you a quick overview of everything that's included with the Venom GPV-1 Ready to Run Kit. Okay guys, first up we're going to take a look at the transmitter that does come with this Ready to Run GPV-1 Motorcycle Kit. This is a 27 megahertz uh, style pistol grip radio and it is a three channel transmitter. Um, there is quite a bit of uh, programming features that you do have within the transmitter um, and they're very simple to access through these buttons here. Okay guys, let's take a look at some of the accessories that are also included with this motorcycle. Uh, basically it includes two types of wrenches. You get this wrench here, it's more of a regular style. and also has a twist style wrench that has basically like socket ends for um, hex nuts on there. Um, I'm not sure where that goes to, but uh, we'll take a closer look at that as we uh, get into looking at this uh, motorcycle kit. Um, it also comes with little skid bars. These uh, go into the side of the motorcycle. Hopefully protect it if it does fall over. Also included with this ready to run motorcycle kit is a 1200 milliamp nickel metal hydride pack that's rated at 7.2 volts. Here's a quick look at the battery charger that's included with the kit. Um, it's rated at 100 volts to 240 volts. So you probably could run it in other countries other than North America um, if you had the adapter to convert the plug. Um, the battery and the adapter do um, feature these more proprietary style plugs. I'll probably end up switching them out a little bit later um, so I can use it with my other charger to uh, more quickly charge it. Also included in the accessories pack are two motorcycle stands. Um, you get one that works underneath the front triple clamps of the motorcycle. And they're pretty scale looking. They got little tires on there and the uh, triangleized support brace there. It also comes with the rear swing arm stand that hooks up to these little uh, bolts here on the back. And it works just like the real stands. Actually, I have one for my motorcycle in the garage. Now that we finished taking a closer look at all the accessories included with this ready to run kit, let's take a closer look at the actual motorcycle. Um, one thing I did notice though is some of the decals or stickers weren't applied very well. There are some bubbles in it so you probably want to smooth those out and uh, make them look a little bit cleaner uh, but otherwise it does look pretty scale. The drive system on this motorcycle does feature a sprocket and chain mechanism. On the front side of the motorcycle you'll find that it does feature some shocks that do have a little bit of a travel at the front. This motorcycle does feature a rear shock um, that has quite a bit of suspension on the rear of the motorcycle. Let's see if we can take a closer look on the bottom. Um, it is an oil filled shock that does a, have um, preload adjustment by adjusting the tension on the spring. And there is also an oil filled um, reservoir that does have a damper in it. And you can adjust the dampening with the different pistons that are included with the kit. The rider on the motorcycle is nicely detailed and painted. And it's made out of kind of a soft foam material. Um, I'm not sure how good this is going to stand up to road rash. But I'm sure we'll find out because I'm probably going to crash this motorcycle on the pavement. Uh, I'm sure more than a few times. Here's a look at the servo for the steering assembly. As you can see, it features a servo saver here, and it has a double link to the uh, triple clamps up here. Um, the steering on this motorcycle works more like a traditional motorcycle. Um, it has the triple clamps, and it actually steers um, like normal. Instead of some of the motorcycles I've seen out there, um, they have more of a tilting mechanism that uh, actually tilts the motorcycle and, and changes the uh, center of gravity from one side to the other to turn. But um, this one appears to be more traditional, like a regular motorcycle. Okay guys, as you can see, I took off the front fairing of the motorcycle. Basically, it's held on with a little pin on the front. And it has two little uh, twist-off nuts here on the sides. So I've taken those off, so we can see a little bit closer um, the electronics and the motor and stuff on the motorcycle. 
Okay, with the fairing off, we can now see on the right side of the motorcycle that the 27 megahertz receiver is already mounted and installed here on the right side. And also you can see the metal pinion gear and the plastic spur gear. Okay, on the left side of the motorcycle, you can see that it has the brushed ESC already pre-mounted. And it does feature a brushed motor as a stock motor. It's a 370 um, fireball motor. It's already pre-installed and ready to go. On the bottom side of the motorcycle, this is where the battery will mount. Let me uh, grab the battery here. Um, basically, it just Velcro straps onto the bottom. And I'm probably going to, to make it more secure so I don't slide forward or back, I'm going to probably put a little strip of extra Velcro on top here. And then also on the bottom side of the motorcycle. I think that will hold it on better. Um, so it won't slide forward or back and uh, rub on the tires if it does move. So uh, I think that's one thing that you probably should add if you do get the motorcycle to make the battery more secure. Okay guys, getting ready to run this Venom GPV-1 uh, RC road race bike. So this is going to be first time driving it. So it's, I don't know how good it's dialed in right off the bat, but let's uh, test it out and see what happens. Definitely different driving there. I gotta get used to it. I do have the scrub bars on so I can figure out how to drive it a little better. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, <ran into> <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not super fast. Um, this is the first time the battery's been run, so I'm just checking it out. That seems like it moves pretty good though. For its size, it's only eight scale. Actually, it works like it hands fairly well, you know, because it doesn't have a gyro in it. Okay guys, we got Franco, he's gonna give it a try. Yeah, if you start hearing the scrubbing, you're turning a little too far. So yeah, try. Yeah. It's a little different to drive. What do you think, Frank? Fairly good. I think I got it a lot closer to that last trim setup. It's not super fast, but like I said, also this is the first time the batteries were run. Um, later on, I'll try and get a 2S LiPo if I can find one that'll fit in it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I gotta set the dual rates price and Expo in the steering. Where are you going? Oh, you hit the attack of the killer motorcycles. <laughs> Okay guys, so that'll pretty much finish up this uh, first video on the Venom GPV-1. Um, there's still actually a lot more to cover on this motorcycle. Uh, I really haven't gone into the suspension adjustments. There's actually quite a bit of adjustments you can do to the front and back suspension to make it run better. So I've got to test that out and uh, see if I can make it handle a little bit better. And I'm still definitely learning how to drive it because this is a little bit different than driving an RC car. Um, so look forward to more videos on this motorcycle coming up in the future. I'm probably going to do some modifications to it. I plan on probably putting a brushless motor and brushless ESC in it later and also probably upgrading the uh, radio transmitter and receiver to a 2.4 gigahertz um, transmitter receiver. So stay tuned, uh, more of the GPV-1 coming up in the future.